today is going to be a tricky one. Um, Ethan's Ethan's sick again. We think ear infections. We need to go back to the doctor. Um, this is the third time in three or four weeks. So we'll have to see what the plan is moving forward um, for his ears. But that means that um, getting anything done is going to be interesting and difficult today. I woke up extra early anticipating getting some work done before he would wake up, figuring he might wake up a little early. And then he woke up just about when I woke up. Um, so he's back down uh, at maybe an hour here to try to uh, finish up a, uh, a site design, not design, uh, the final styling for a site to go to the client review. So hopefully we can get that done. If not, we're just gonna be picking away throughout the day. Um, I will say this is the one nice thing that I do have with my job still is they're super flexible with if he's sick or Gavin's sick to let me just work from home and take him to the doctor. So there is that. All right, it is officially going to be one of those days today. Uh, headed to the doctors in 15, 20 minutes with Ethan. Uh, just get him checked out. Definitely think he has ear infections again. Just trying to get to the bottom of that. Um, so caught up on some emails for my nine to five this morning, let them know that I'm gonna be running to the doctors. In 10 minutes, he just went down for a nap 20 minutes ago. So good luck, buddy. <laughs> That's just the appointment they had, so we'll get them in, figure out what the plan is for trying to get these ears cleared up, and then the rest of the day is going to just be dictated by all of that. Baby's sick, it's no fun, but gotta take care of the little guys. There might not be a ton of work that gets done today. Let's just put it that way. I don't know if you can hear that, but that is the sound of sleeping baby. Sleeping baby with dual ear infections who needs to sleep. So I'm not sure how long I'm gonna be in here, but he needs to sleep. I'm gonna use my phone to do emails. Depends how long we're here for. It's always interesting what happens on sick days. I just have a minute because Ethan's waking up from his nap. My takeaway from today, my lesson from today that I want to share is um, the importance of knowing your role and being aware of it that particular day. Uh, and, and maybe that month or that year or that decade even. My wife got a new job. She's a nurse, she used to be a NICU nurse uh, about 45 minutes away. That was, you know, 12 hour shifts, but by the time you do report and, tra and travel to and from the hospital, she was 14, 15 hours away from the house. Three days a week, you lose a day sleeping, trying to catch up. We got the opportunity for her to work 10 minutes down the road, five days a week, eight hours a day, and we jumped on it. But two things have changed since then. One, she doesn't have time off right now. When she uh, transitioned into this new job, it was right before uh, Ethan was born, there was some confusion and mix up as far as what would be offered from a maternity leave perspective. She used up all of her time and you know, went in the negative for sick days. So she's still just trying to make that up at this point. So she doesn't have the flexibility that I have with my job to work from home when, when a kid is sick. This past month, he's just been sick. Uh, Today's the third time we took him to the doctors with ear infections. It's been really taxing for me just trying to get work done. Even at my job that I don't, I don't love, I want to feel productive and feel like I'm doing something that 
matters and at least keeps my bosses happy. So it's, it's difficult to do that from home, especially when you're juggling doctor's appointments and nap time and three feedings and making sure Ethan's occupied when he is awake and, and he's safe and playing and enjoying himself and all that to say, there's a lot of things that if I could, I would do in my day that I don't always have the opportunity to. And that won't always be the case, but it is for now. And the days where I get stuck in that mindset of I just want to do this stuff and I just want to work and I just want to sit at my computer and have no one bother me, just put my headphones on and just code or biz dev or email or, or whatever it is. Those days are very frustrating days for me because that's just not my reality right now. That's not my role. When I remember that I have the opportunity to take care of my son and to um, I have a job that gives me the flexibility to do that um, and then take that pressure off of my wife so that she doesn't have to worry about it or stress about taking time she doesn't have and understanding that I'm not going to get as much done today as I may want to, but I can get caught up later a day like today. And that's just easier. It's an easier day um, and I have just more peace about it. It's not always going to be like that. Anything can change with either one of our jobs, more kids, less sickness. Regardless, the roles will change. Be present with where you are, with what your role and responsibility is today. There's nothing wrong with looking into the future and, and hoping for things to be different at some point, but don't let that discourage you to the point where you're miserable because you're not doing the exact thing you want to do at that moment. That's Chris's life lesson for today. Hope it's helpful. Hope I can remember it because when I forget, I get all kinds of flustered. That's what I got. Ethan's sitting up, just looking at the monitor. Time to get the little guy.